Hi guys, my name's David Lakin, Director at Harris & Burt Chartered Surveyors and Estate Agents and I'd like to welcome you to our first Lettings webinar that we've carried out. Today we've got some guest speakers as well as our Head of Lettings, Martin Harris, to talk to both landlords past, present and future about some new Lettings legislation that's coming in some interesting facts about EPCs and how they make a difference to our properties and to our, to our tenants and landlords. And also a further video from a chap called Mike Delap, who uh, runs the referencing business that we carry out, but also has some fantastic rent guarantee services. I really hope you enjoy. I think it'll be informative and give further knowledge to our landlords as an added service. And this is really one of many that we look to put on with a variety of different speakers and things. Look forward to seeing you all soon now that the COVID restrictions seem to be relaxing somewhat. And I really hope that you enjoy what we've put together for you. Hello, uh, my name's Andy Newman. My company is BioRisk. Um, we are Harrison Burt's principal contractor for energy performance certificates. And I'm here today to answer a few questions that landlords like yourselves may have. An EPC uh, is, stands for Energy Performance Certificate and it's a legal requirement for all landlords uh, to be able to rent a property out to a tenant. Uh, it's there to inform the tenant um, how energy efficient the property is and roughly what they can expect um, it's going to cost to run as a household. EPCs are mandatory. No question about it, you have to have one to be able to rent a property out. Uh, if you are unsure as to whether or not your property already has an EPC, then that information can be easily found by, by googling EPCs and going to the .gov website, uh, where it's a matter of a simple search of your postcode um, to find out whether or not your property has an EPC. Your property may have an EPC which is expired, in which case you will need to renew it as soon as you possibly can. Uh, how would you go about doing that? First course of action would be to contact Harrison Burt and they would instruct us to come and carry out an EPC on your property. Um, it's a fairly painless exercise and can be done uh, you know, in, in short order. That's actually quite a difficult question to answer because without actually knowing the um, structure and fit of your property as it is already, um, what you may do to it may or may not increase the score. Um, but typically, um, things like increased loft insulation will always be a benefit. But for uh, further information on this subject, um, feel free to give us a call. Um, our, our, our contact details are freely available from Harrison Burt. The minimum energy efficiency standard um, for the United Kingdom for landlords is an E rating. Anything below an E rating, you can't let a property out. However, this does not apply to long-standing existing tenancies, but however, however as of 2023, um, that will be changing. So if you already have long-term tenants uh, in a property with an EPC lower than an E, you will have to um, have a new EPC done, and this will most likely involve remedial works to actually improve the score. Um, again, for further information uh, or any queries you have regarding this, feel free to contact us. It's projected by the government in 2025 that all landlords will only be able to rent a property out if it is a C rating and above. Um, I do want to emphasise that this is obviously a little way off. Um, it's still uh, being debated and uh, it may not come to fruition in that simple structure. If it does come into, if that does come into effect, there might be changes in the conventions, which are the parameters of the um, EPC software, which may uh, kind of cook the books on that one. But however, that is conjecture at the moment. Uh, we're just going to have to wait and see what happens come 2025. I'd like to say thank you to everybody um, for listening to my little presentation. I hope it's informative, um, even though it's not the world's most exciting subject. Um, and you know, I, I wish you all the prosperity throughout the rest of the year. Hello, I'm Martine Harris and I'm Head of Residential Lettings here at Harrison Burt. Um, and I just wanted to um, give you a brief 
legal lettings update of some new legislation um, that's going to take effect in July. This is the final part of the Renting Homes Wales Act um, and it's going to introduce quite a number of changes. Um, I think the main one that our landlords will notice is the assured short-hold tenancy that we've all been used to for the past number of years is going to be replaced by a new standard occupation contract and tenants will now be referred to as contract holders. Um, so all new lettings agreed after the 12th of July will need to have one of these new standard occupation contracts and then landlords will have six months to bring all their current tenancies over onto these new documents. Um, another uh, quite major change is that all rented properties will now have to have a mandatory electrical installation condition report, fixed wire smoke alarms and carbon monoxide detectors. But we work with a number of local electricians um, so we can help with any aspect of these reports um, and get estimates for works needed as well. Um, again, with the EICRs, these will be needed for all lettings after the 12th of July. Uh, and again, six month grace period will be given for all current tenancies. Um, there are a few other changes as well, but um, please keep an eye on our website, on our blog, um, as and when information comes out from Welsh Assembly Government, I will update you all. I'll be writing to all of our landlords over the next few weeks to explain some of these changes. Um, one thing to note though, deposit protection rules and Rent Smart Wales legislation remains the same. So if anybody has any queries at all, please do not hesitate to contact me. Thank you. Hi guys, uh, my name is Mike, I'm from Vouch Tenant Referencing. Now we've recently partnered up with Harrison Burt and part of the service that we'll be launching with them is uh, rent guarantee and legal cover. Now you as a landlord can actually contact uh, Martine and her team at Harrison Burt to put this in place. It's an insurance product that you can buy as part of their service um, that ultimately will actually help protect your properties, uh, the rental payments there. Now, you can actually take this policy out through Harrison Burt um, as a flexible monthly policy. You can buy it per annum. You can even take out a six month policy through them as well. Um, the benefits of doing so for you guys is you can actually first and foremost, by putting these policies in place, first things first, you can actually protect up to 2,500 per month in missed rental income protection. So what that basically means is every single time one of your tenants stops paying their rents, that cover will step in and actually provide financial support. The, the insurance will actually pay £2,500 per month, up to £2,500 per month, I should say, sorry, uh, to actually protect the rent there. And that will actually pay out as long as the tenant stops paying. So even if they spend two years where they're being chased down court channels, the cover is in place to provide the rent to you guys in event of any arrears. Uh, what the insurance product will also do is actually provide legal support. So they'll provide £100,000 worth of legal expenses cover during the term of the policy. Um, and again, you know, the legal team in the, and the insurance provider will actually also step in and act in place of the cover. And what I mean by that is it's their lawyers, the insurer's lawyers who are actually physically doing the donkey work and chasing the tenants for rent arrears, serving section notices. They're even providing their lawyers to go down the court channels and look to evict that tenant as well. Um, the cover also includes a vacant possession clause. So when the tenant does get evicted, um, in that first two months after they've moved out, you actually get 75% of the rent covered in that opening two months as well, which gives you guys plenty of opportunity to go into a property, give it a look of paint, and in that empty period, in that vacant period, still have some financial protection in place as well. Uh, it's a really, really good cover. As I say, if you would like to contact Martine and her team at Harris and Burt, you're very welcome to discuss it. And of course, look to take it out and protect your, your interests as well. Thank you for your time. Really appreciate it.